Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4 and I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K23 on 2K Sports. What's up everyone? It's Paint Crush. I'm Son of Beast and this next matchup we're about to do another 2K Sports of NBA. The next matchup we have is Charlotte Hornets and they are facing against Portland Trail Blazers. Right now, the good news is that Damian Lillard is back. Yep, as we never seen him in last season, he was never able to play with them right along the side. And now, you may all know that he might be heading for his next prize career for next season if he could stick with his team of the Blazers. Now, their perfect run is up to ability strain on the board as we don't have anybody out there except for Jeremy Grant and Drew Ubanks because he played it with the Spurs and Jeremy Grant with the Denver Nuggets. I don't know if I could definitely uh, just heard about that one but this is the only guy that I've never seen how he, well he had played. But as for himself, he might have to find another way if he could try to stick it up. And with the starting lineups in the group we have is LaBella Ball, Terry Rozier the third, Gordon Hayward, DJ Tucker, and Nick Richards. So we don't know where Cody Zeller is. So if there are no reports about Cody Zeller, he could be on a different team or he could be injured. We don't know because you will never know what to find out what happens from here. And on the other side, we got Damian Lillard and Fernie Simons. Nazir Little, Jeremy Grant, and Drew Eubanks. Now let's get the commentaries on the board. Brian Anderson and Ali LaForce, along with the 2K Sports crew. I'll be here for the halftime show and postgame show. See you all later. Alright, so here's a question. Which player is not a first-time NBA All-Star this year? Jay Gordick, Cyrus Hilberton, Ben Adebayo, or Laurie Markkinen? pronouncing all of those names correctly. Make sure you stay tuned for more 2K TV interactive throughout the episode. Well, this week, all questions. We'll just have to find out with the questions. Brought to you by Canada Goose. But that's going to be a hard one to get over it. So please stay tuned as we will have uh, more coverage here of the highlights. And what position does Lil Wayne play on my team? You figure it out on your own. Now let's get into the game. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Coming up next, the Hornets taking on the Trailblazers. For Charlotte, losing seven out of their last ten games has left a bad taste in their mouths. But tonight represents a new beginning, and they want a taste of victory once again. Blazers, Hornets, coming up next. Don't go anywhere. And now, 2K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Perry. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Brian, the Blazers have had some bold moves to create flexibility and go younger. Avery Simon said, we've been very resilient and we're sticking with it. All tied together, feeding off of each other, playing free, playing loose, playing hard. And that's all we need. Guys, back to you. Well, he's been a big part of it, Allie. Thanks a lot. So the Hornets starting five. That key matchup. It will be Damian Lillard Ball and LaMelo Ball. The guards. And it's Richards in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for Portland... Lillard and Simons are the one of the two. Jeremy Grant out there with Drew Eubanks. And it's Little in at the three spot. And here in the middle of the season, these teams really coming into their own right now. They found their identity and know what they're all about, Grant. Well, oftentimes that's what happens. I mean, these guys have had the time to gel and get to know how they like to play. And at this point, it's all about going out night after night and just executing. And it'll be the Trailblazers off the tip. to Lillard. Oh. Hey, Lillard! Lillard just keeps fighting, willing 
his team to victory. Not deterred that time by the ball. And gets Hayward on the way. Back to ball. And it gets that one. Lamelo ball. Defense hanging around, but not aggressive enough. He dropped the finger roll right over top. And that was the mobile one drive. Little resistance to the finish line. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Now here's Lillard. We saw him with 39 points last game. This is what happened here on February 14th. The loss against Washington Wizards. He only had 39 points. Puts up a three. Jeffrey Simons for three! David Lillard. And the lamp is good. Nick Look Richards. What he does for this team, just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Now here's Grant. Taking command on offense when they need it. Putting up 21 a game. Pass to Simons. Grant outside. Sherry Brett. I'm not the fan base in Portland. They're passionate and they really understand the game. That's so true, B.A. I mean, even in lean years, they come out to see the game. Washington. And when they're on top, assisted by Romello Ball. Portland's a great basketball town. And Portland has possession. After the basket by Charlotte. Pass to Graham. Great. Their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Ball passes to Washington. Rozier with it. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Here's Richards. Pass to Ball. Hayward, left side. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Three pointer Rozier. Portland grabs the miss. They came away with a victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also a discovery. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. Now here's Lillard. And his scoring average of 31 and a half points a game is fantastic. Here's Little, guarded by Hayward. It's hauled in by Hayward. Charlotte trailing. Here's Ball. That's it. The ball, the ball. Time out, four lit. He watches both the angles. That's what he finds wide open guys to be. Now a timeout call by Portland. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. And not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You gotta make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team and the right mindset carried out. Wow, shocking on the run because a lot of defenders are not picking up. So they're going to have to change things on offense when we come back. Just for a little short break. New substitution for the Portland Trailblazers. Justin in for Lillard. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Williams is checked in for Richards. Now here's Simons. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Pass to Graham. Solid defense for Williams. The Hornets have gone four of six in the first quarter. Down low. Here's Washington. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Johnson finds Brad. Off the contact there and then finished off the shot. You talk about a basketball family. Jeremy Grant's father was a pro. His uncle, his brothers, I mean, plenty of competition growing up. Now here's Washington. Pass to Williams. And that's good. Well, the really the game. There's just no reason to give him inside. Washington. And he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. And even though Jeremy grew up around the game, Success wasn't handed to him, Grant. Not at all. I mean, he was a 
a second round pick out of Syracuse, and he's really had to prove himself as an NBA player. He has truly come a long way. Now here's Simons. 17 points for him. Last game against Washington. And he goes Hey, Bernie Simons. Nines on the floor. Ball passes to Washington. Simons against Rozier. Pass to Williams. 13 feet out. Now Washington. Balls on Portland. Number nine, Jeremy Grant. Boys Forstall. First team foul. To look at the scoring approach. Out of line for Charlotte. Coming from here. DJ Washington. Taking two shots. Talk about how unselfish they've been. Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but I continue to go right New substitution for the Portland Trailblazers. The Hornets making a switch here. Number 11. Charles Sharp and Kevin Knox. And he makes both free throws. For Portland, they've got six and eight shots to go. Outside Reddish. 43 seconds left in the opening quarter. Pass to Knox. Here's Sharp. Shot clock at six. From the line. Again, the trailblazers. There's a point for. And here's Smith. He's coming off a 10-point game against San Antonio. You can tell the defense was really nervous dribbling or passing the ball anywhere near him in that one. He took advantage of their indecisiveness continually throughout the night. Back up to his field. Outside Johnson. Starting the second. Here's Richards. Pass to Book Knight. Shot clock at five. The shot off that time. Now Portland takes it the other way. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. It's a quick turn. Shot. They're locked in and focus on making each possession a success. That is exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. The game is fully in their control. Here's Book Knight. The Blazers making their last shot. Pass to McGowan. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being in? It's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Kevin Knox, assisted by Damian Lillard. Williams. And he lays 
Ron Williams. is prepped to you by Ripple Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Your local Kia dealers. Find your local Kia dealer near you. Official vehicle of the NBA. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. New substitution for the Portland Trail Blazers. And Simon is subbed in for Sharp. Name Sharp. That's the McGowan's. Yes, sir. John McGowan's for three. It's pretty much not. This is the buy the mellow ball. Somebody's got a shadow about there. Six 
scoring is great, but when it comes with the efficiency that Lillard plays with, man, he does it on the perimeter, he gets inside too. Now here's Rosier. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Lillard outside. Back to Grant. Simons right side. Outside Tybal. Matisse, five ball. And the Trailblazers lead by 14. Charlotte has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Hayward finds ball. 58 seconds left in the first half. Hayward shot is off. The Trailblazers have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Pass to Eubanks. from the wing. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that. Cost you another play. And Jeremy Gore. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Charlotte is shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. Three seconds separating the shot and game clock. Back to ball. Here's Washington. Fouls on Portland, number four, Matisse Spiegel. It's fourth personal, third team foul. Second team foul. Shooting, Shooting for Charlotte. Charlotte. Nick, Nick Richards two. on the line for two. Substitution for Portland Trailblazers. Bernard Hornets. Tyler Maletta. At number five. Rentis replacing Tybal. Charles Rich. And Ted Blackford. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Nine seconds left to play in the first half. Now Lillard. That's the end of the first time. Portland Trailblazers 35 and Charlotte Hornets 21. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, folks, and welcome to the Halftime Show of 2K Sports. First half has already been completed. Let's have a look at the recap of how they did in the first. Hornets and Red Blazers. Blazers are well played. A lot of great pass movement out there. A lot of some great three pointers out there. Damian Lillard on a hot streak. Looking very comfortable out there. Including the other players as much. They've got a lot of percentage out there. They're just keeping an eyes on pressure. They're doing really well this play. And the fight is still on its continuous run to try to make their way to the playoffs. And for Charlotte Hornets, they are trying to get back into it. A lot of losing technology could be off on the run. But only one block has already tipped. So they have to find another way to get over. And that's a wrap. So let's send you back down to Moda Center with Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Reggie Miller. See you all later in the postgame show. The big gap on the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Well, the story's here. Jeremy Grant, man, is he getting it done today? Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half, I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things Second half begins now. Second. On the floor, Charles, Paul and Rozier are on the guards. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington, and it's Richards. DJ Washington, <laughs> assisted by Gordon Hayward. No response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot, and 
gets right through there. High basketball. Offensive foul on number nine, number nine Jeremy Brett. It's first personal, first team foul. Just too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And a second look at that rejection. He's taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Here's ball. B.J. Washington for three. Ball's got three assists in the game. A defensive breakdown. Can't afford to leave him open from range. Now here's Lillard. He has seven. David Lillard. Lillard's got nine. Yeah, so do the quick short dribbles and then create some space. Trying to guard that. Look at the players with limitless range, Grant. Damian Lillard, right at the top of that list. Oh, B.A. And Lillard, he just make it look so easy. He gets a lot of his strength on his shot from his legs. Damian Lillard. Very little resistance around the rim right now. Who? Who makes? Just straight bucket and giving up in the paint. Pass to Rozier. Launches a three. Washington. B.J. Washington. Oh, oh, Slow start for him, but making amends here in the second half. To the wing, right side. Simons with it, rounded by Rozier. Simons against Rozier. It's Lillard. And, and Lillard. Hot smell on Charlotte. Number four, Nick Richards. His first personal first team foul. He's checked in for Portland. And a line for Trail Blazers. Damien Miller. Shooting what? Looks like it's a turn to be a back-to-back -back switch off here. As right now, the Portland Trailblazers are still up by eight. And Charlotte Hornets trying to catch their breath to get back in the game. 
And as we may have known last season, they've already won against the Minnesota Timberwolves in overtime. This was like a toughest on the weakest part of the uh, game that they have ever faced. Not really consuming to be another option, but it, it might be a tough one to get right over in by. But however, this really has to turn things out. The Portland Trail Blazers might have to find yourself to patch them. And they lost against the Cleveland Cavaliers without Damian Lillard. But now, they assume they need, it might be showing things off to do it again. On, the, on another credit run, they might be finding another one to get the solution right. So with that one, they're going to need to find another tempo to get right into it. New substitution for the Portland Girl Blazers. Number two. That was Watford, and number six, Tommy Johnson. To Watford. Back to Johnson. Little and Rush. Good sharp. Good sharp. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Reddish misses. Here's Charlotte. They've gone on an eight nothing run. Here's Booknight. At one point, they led by 16. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Two minutes. Here's Sharp. A minute 15 left in the third. Little, no good. Better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. And get it Brilliant, look nice. Aggressive attitude defensively. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with Alan Graham. And it's the Blazers for the ball. Back to the basket by Charlotte. Pass to Watford. Three quarter sharp. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. Draw the ball. See you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. The Hornets with possession here. They trail by six. And following this one, they'll take on the Timberwolves in Minnesota. That'll wrap up this short two game road trip. Pass to Book Knight. stopped improving on how they were going to take a flow of it. They're going to need to try to fix the things on offense to take a look on the other hand. They don't want to lose any of their transitions to get right into cover. Two substitution for Blazers. Number one, Avery Simons. Number 11, Kevin Knox. Five and a half a game. And here's Simon. Everybody! Simon! Simon's got five points. The handle's right there from Simon. Great job of just creating enough space for him to do the damage. Fouls on Portland, number 11. Kevin Knox is for his personal. First team foul. Shooting two for Charlotte. Number 20, Gordon Haywood.
from Hayward. And what I appreciate about Gordon is he's a fighter. Working his way back from that devastating leg injury in 2017, still a solid contributor. Throws good from Hayward. The Trailblazers have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Pass to Watford. Now here's Simons. Five points in the game. Now here's Redding. Fires the three. Knocks the That's the end of the third quarter. Portland Trailblazer was 49. And showing up for it's 43. Alright, we're gonna step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four. Next. Gonna be a tough ones match. Let's see who finds out for the next winning game 12. Be right back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. It's quarter number four. In the fourth quarter, could have more action in store for us. Lillard and Simons are the one of the two. Matisse Thibel out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Watford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Now here's Lillard. Back to Grant. Oh, deflected. He gets it. Jeremy Grant. Really going at him out there. Now Jeremy Grant, some change in the couch here, finding some offensive rhythm for the team. Ball passes to Hayward. His first force of the goal, first team foul. Substitution for Charlotte Hornets, number four, Nick Richards. And substitution for the Portland Trailblazers, Nani Little and Drew Ubex. There he goes here for assisted by Nick Richards. Outside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. Now here's Lillard, and here's Grant from the arc. Gary, Grant, for three! Lillard's got five assists tonight. Gabriel Lillard with the assists. Here in the second half, Hayward, pass the ball. Here's Richards, pass to Rozier. Back to Richards, five to shoot. Chance here for Ball. And that was the ball. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Simons outside. Lillard against Ball. Lillard right side. And there's a three, three second, second violation on Gary Brett. Jolly Ball. Hey, 
Gordon Hayward. You know, showing he still has that athleticism. Hayward enjoys flashing his dunking ability when he gets a chance. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Graham. Six on the shot clock. Lillard outside. Target from outside. But if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since half time. They get it back. Here's Richards. Oh, and makes Nick it. Nick Richards. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. The Trailblazers have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Miller passes to Grant. Damien Lillard. This by Jimmy Grant. To make the next pass. Wing Rozier. Yes, sir. Gary Rozier for three. Paul's got five assists tonight. This takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players claim to make it do. Now here's Lillard. Consistently worked on developing all of his abilities, shooting, defense, rebounding, and the sky's the limit here. And so both is good, and it's a seven-point game. Tremendous right now. They could have tied this game just like last season, but unfortunately, they are about to get away with them. Not going to overtime, but it was all a big turnout 
We've seen this one game of Nuggets and Wizards. The toughest game has ever been played, but that was all it took. Now to close things off, we have your New Balance Player of the Game. Let's see what the answer goes in. Ryan? Ryan beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. Coming down to under a minute left to go. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Washington. Rebounded by Grant. Here's Little, guarded by Hayward. Grant against Washington. Back to Grant. Little outside. That three's off the mark. So it's the Hornets now. Nine point game. To the paint is Richards. It's good. Nick Richards. Score Portland Trailblazer 66 and Charlotte Hornets 59. All right, now let's check in with Allie the Force. Allie, what do you have? Dave, for those of us watching, what does it feel like to be in a shooting group like you were in tonight? It feels like a workout. You know, when I'm doing my summertime workouts, uh, even after practice sometimes, I'm just trying to get hot. Trying to get that rhythm. Um, and that's what it feels like. You know, when you hold yourself to that standard of just making shots, uh, being consistent at it, just getting hot. You know, and that's kind of what it felt like. I can guarantee you none of our workouts feel like that. But thanks for the show tonight, Dave. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. All right, Brian, thank you very much. And with this one, it's turning out to be greatness to make the save nights of this game. For now, Charlotte Hornets have lost a couple of games of the season. They were trying to leave things overhanging. There was a lot of plays in this inbound, but they're not enough to take over with the offensive drive and taking over from anybody. Here how they did in the total games, field goal percentage was only 69 for Portland Trail Blazers, 35 for Charlotte Hornets for 3 pointers, along with 3 throws, just 8 out of 8 range, perfect skills out there, fast break points was only 8 for Trail Blazers. Points in paint also did come out successful for Portland with 42, second chance points was 13 here for Charlotte Hornets, bench points 22 for Portland. An assist for 21. Offense rebounds was taking over here for the Charlotte Hornets here with only 12. And defensive rebound was only putting up 18 here for Portland. And there's only three steals that they had made. One block only for Charlotte Hornets. There are only three turnovers here that turn them out to be a points off ability scores. That turned to be Charlotte Hornets with just the least and too many turnovers here for Portland. Two team fouls has been given up here for just least, least amount of the fouls. That was for Charlotte Hornets. And Dunks was three. The biggest lead was only 16, and time of possession, 13-21. Anyway, that remains here for the total games, as right now 66-59 is your final score. What a game, fellas! And now it's time to close out three star players of the game. First up, number three. We're going to take a look at what they have gotten here because there's a toughness look in between the ball, ball games instead. So, Lomelo Ball was the New Balance player of the game. He didn't get quite really well, but only six turned out to be just that. 
And here's a look on the other hand for number three. We have it's PJ Washington. 13 points, six rebounds, two assists, and only made one three points. He only gives up one dunk performance, an 18 performance run. Only just with only a good amount of length. Not really well at this point, but it will be off the rebound, a slight possible. Now for number two, we have is Jeremy Grant. 17 points, five rebounds, and perfect assist here for one. And a steal did turn out two, and only one dunk performed. He only made eight out of nine field goal percentage and only one three-pointers, and only two fouls was given. And the, your number one player, all rise up, it's Dola, Damian Lillard. 20 points, two rebounds, five assists, and this one keeps on coming. 9 out of 16 field goal percentage, and only 3-pointer was only 1. That was an excellent move. No fouls given, he's perfect on the point guard position. That's where you want him to be, and Dola still remains strong. So that ends up here for the 12th game of the season. I hope you enjoyed this game. Stick up here next time as we got the rematch to take here since last season of the NBA Finals of 2K22 as the Warriors are playing against Miami Heat back in the Miami Vice City. Yep, I have to tell you this one here. This is going to be a lot of toughness, ability, and there might be hard ones to try to keep an eyes on if there's any change up. So with that being said, paintbrush is out of here. Thank you for watching. And the next commentary we will have the support is to get back into this game. It will be Son of Beast along with me. And on the center of it will be a tough look out the range. That will be OJ. So at that point, see you all next time for another game. And for as for being said, we're halfway through the end of the season. So we'll keep you up there shortly just in case if there is another changes. So with that, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA 2K23 dial. This is Paintbrush, thank you for joining with us and have a wonderful rest of your night. Good night in Portland Trail Blazers of Rip City. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.